I selected my agent because I knew that she was very, very knowledgeable about the area where I was living. Um, through referrals from friends, mostly. When he shows me the house, it's his presentation probably, probably 95% of how I would do it. I think I would talk to people I know, my friends, and, you know, like if I was away in New York or if I was in Rome or something, I would talk to people that live in Palm Beach and know real estate brokers. I would select my agent probably from word of mouth from friends who have had successful ventures. Most of the time uh, I've ever done business here in upstate New York, the agents always come to me by referral. Friends of mine who've had an agent and did a good job for them. So that seems to be the best because now you've got some background and probably you're dealing with. Someone, probably from a friend. Um, I usually hit for referral. You know, somebody who, you, who we can talk to and talk back with us and not someone who sits there with their mouth closed. Somebody who has a few years' experience. Somebody who has a good record. Somebody who, you know, seems decent and friendly and somebody who uh, seems competent. The qualities in that, a good realtor would be somebody, like I say, listens to you, somebody that's referred to you, and the, the referrals are solid referral. I expect good follow through and um, somebody who listens to my needs. Somebody that has uh, a lot of, uh, that's been around a long time, has a lot of uh, history or whatever, not just some run of the mill, somebody that pops up and says, well, I'm with so and so and so and so, and it's really a, a formidable person. Honesty. Number one, honesty, confidentiality, and uh, knowing their market, knowing their houses or properties. I expect my agent to go the extra mile. In my case, it was to sell my house in a neighborhood that was inundated with many houses for sale. Um, and I found that what I really, really liked the most was that she was very available to me and at the house a lot and in the neighborhood a lot. Just for them to do all the work, man. To listen to you. Because it's be showing you properties you're interested in. Sometimes you'll get somebody, they'll show you what they want to sell you or something they have in their own book and they don't want to co broke. It's better to make a good friend of the guy you're dealing with and sell him what he wants, because later on that will be a referral for that agent to one of his friends. It's full circle. Uh, honesty, loyalty, responsiveness, uh, knowing that they represent my interests and nobody else's. My perception of a realtor is someone who is very, very knowledgeable about real estate in general and especially knowing the area where you are either selling or buying so that they can really be a guide and a mentor in helping you sell and find a home. I feel like younger realtors are very uh, um, eager to please, but not in a bad way. My perception is they are um, successful realtors know their business. They take time, they study, they know the markets, and they know the properties. A realtor is somebody who's an expert in the real estate market and who is um, not only knowledgeable but caring and compassionate towards the client. My perception is they're they're one of the hardest working professions that there is today. I think there's a lot of good people out here. I really do. They know what they're doing and they're selling and uh, you know there's a big turnover because people are retired, uh, dying and going to live in homes and everything. And uh, they've got a lot of work here. I think a lot of them are in there, you know, to turn a buck and really, you know, if they can't turn a buck, they really don't want to give that service, so that's why I would really have to look to find somebody. Uh, well, it kind of depends, too. I know there are 
good agents, there are bad agents. Uh, it goes across the board. I mean, there's how many hundreds of thousands I think, in the U.S. and they cross the gamut from exceptional to very low quality and lack of responsiveness and not representing your interests very well. But it's across the board, I think it's a consumer to try to figure out and get the best one possible for their particular needs. because I got my asking price. Because we got a great deal. <laughs> if I buy something and uh, there's no structural problems, that they haven't recommended their friendly uh, inspectors, that truth is there, uh, and I have a good deal, I am happy. Because I love the place I just bought. I mean, I know she was always on time and she had good follow through and um, she was the go-to person for a lot of my questions. She went above and beyond. When you're happy, when you love them and you hug them at the closing, when you appreciate them and you give them more business. I get what I paid him for, or her for. When I feel I get a fair price, or a price under what I think, and that they uh, show me properties that uh, are something that they know I'm looking for. They don't waste my time. As they say, every man's uh, home is his castle. If I have a nice little castle, then he did real good. <laughs> well, after a few years, you'll know whether you got a good price, and you'll know whether it's a good area that fits you. But that would take a few months or years to live in there and find out. I, I would think, um, you know, by finding me pretty much exactly what I'm looking for and, and going the extra mile. You'll, you, you'll know. You'll know right off because the deal comes together. He just doesn't do the deal for you. He sticks with you to the end. He makes sure he lines up the financing and financing people for you if you don't have your own banks. And he's there even at the closing. It's probably there too on the move-in time. If somebody sticks with you through the whole process, not just in there for the commission and is gone, you can't find them. Because again, if he treats you right, his business is gonna grow. So it's good for you and Depending what I bought or sold my house for and you know if, if and the time they did it. If I really like my house and I feel like I got a good deal.